Hi, good evening, Dr. Banerjee. This is Sean Duncan, as you know. This is case study number six. I think it's our last group case study. Me and Sean Kameter uh, did this case together over Baker at Heavens. Sorry if I get the name wrong. Um, Sean did questions three and four in this case uh, study, and I worked on questions one and two. So, as you know, I'll be going over questions one and two for this case presentation. And the first question is that I'll be going over was, the first question was, how profitable is the original sale to Nova once the exchange rate changes are acknowledged? How might the exchange rate risk which affected the value of the order have been changed. So when I went over this question, uh, Sean helped me. We helped each other kind of each on each problem. We went over it with each other. We got the original sale as a profit of $3,144. So $3,144. And $44 was the profit of the original sale. So you might ask, you know, how did we get that? So what we did is we multiplied our desired exchange rate, which was a rot, which was given to us. I think it was exhibit two, which was 0.4368. And we just multiplied that by the cost plus markup in reels, which is 109. 109,077 and then we converted that into US dollars because that was in uh, BRL which I, I, don't, I haven't looked it up I don't know what it was but we converted that in US dollars which, which gave us our payment of 47,644 and we just took the actual payment provided which was 47,600 and 44 minus the total cost provided from the exhibit, which was 44,500, and that gave us the profit that I just said of 3144. So now that we got that desired profit, you know, how does Baker manage the exchange rate risk? It's a great question. Um, first, that first idea that I came up with was was that Baker. Baker can try selling higher, try selling higher on their orders, which might reduce Baker's losses losses from the exchange rate risk. Sorry, I'm having a bad time speaking right now. Another thing that Baker can do to kind of minimize the exchange rate risk is, you know, they are a smaller firm, so trying to Baker's losses from the exchange. It's almost impossible because of the market power Baker has. They are relative. They are a relative smaller firm with a lot of competition in their industry. So another approach that Baker can use is hedging their future payments in the forward or money market. Money markets. Um, if they want to use the forward market, they would have the ability to buy future set date contracts, which give them the power to you know set their own dates, which is great for a company. Another thing that you know Sean gave me this, uh, Sean Kameter gave me this one, was in the case of a money market approach that Baker would need to borrow money in the right currency as they receive in their payment and then swap that out for U.S. dollars. So there's a lot going on for their original sale. They made a great profit of 3144 And that leads us to question number two, which was a question, question number two. Assuming Baker agrees to the new so the new Nova sale, determine the present value of the expect expected future cash inflow, assuming there's no hedge, forward hedge, and a money market hedge. So excuse me, catching my breath here. So the first present value that I came up with was the no hedge. And during a no hedge, we needed to get the right things in order. N, I, interest, payment, future value, which will give us our present value, which we need to find out. We had a present value of $67,822.08 for a no hedge. 
How did we calculate that? Good question. So we calculated that by taking the shipment would increase to 1,815 gallons. We took the original 1,210 gallons and times that by 1.5. That gave us our 18, uh, 1815 gallons. So that was about a 50% increase in volume if there's no hedge. Following the increase of volume, if there is no hedge to the sale, then we need to get the future value. So we began by taking the price BRL, which was 90.15 BRL per gallon. We times that by 1,815 gallons, which came out to be a BRL of 1,600. Gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me. 163,622.3 BRL. The interest rate was calculated pretty easily. We took, we took, I think this is 8.52 and divided that by 12 months, which was 0.71. So that was our interest. The N, which was three since we're going from June to September. So that's three months quarterly payments. So in order for the future value to be valid, so we need to find a future value in order to find the present value. We need to convert our estimate into U.S. dollars, so we took the September 5th, 2006, three-month forecast bid from Exhibit 2, which was 0 0.4234, which then gave us our future value of $69,277.07. And I think in the in the PowerPoint, I provided the uh, calculation that we put into our calculator to get our present value of with no a uh, present value with no hedge of sixty seven thousand eight hundred and twenty two and eight cents. So for the next two, for forward hedge and money market hedge, first off with the forward hedge, we kind of use the same calculation as we did with the no hedge. But in this case, instead, we just changed the, changed the value of future value. So we just took the exchange rate of 0 0.4227 and multiply that by the revenue, which was 163622 which then gave us our future value of 69163 And then as shown in the uh, PowerPoint, we got a and in our Word document, we got a present value of $67,710.06 if there was a forward hedge on the sale. So now money market hedge, which kind of gave us uh, a little problems. It gave me a little problems. It took me a little while to finally figure it out because I knew I got two, few, uh, two present values that are around the same, and I was getting around 70000 for money market hedge, which I thought was weird, so I asked Sean, you know, if, if that sounded right, and he told me no. So I finally got it. We got a present value of sixty-seven thousand one hundred and nine dollars and two cents. We almost we didn't really use the same methods as we did from the forward hedge and no hedge. So during a money market hedge, Baker would need to receive their payment on the spot instead of in the future which is different. We still keep the same future value of BRL, $163 and $62, that was revenue. And we multiplied that by our future value by the exchange rate for the bid on the real, which is 0 0.4368, which gave us our future value of $71,470.02. And the interest rate in our calculation for, for present value, because the Brazilian rate is used at 0.26, it's just a simple calculation of 26% interest rate divided by 4, which gave us our interest rate of 6.5. So that was it, and uh, that our calculations are provided in the PowerPoint, as I stated earlier. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so much, Dr. Banerjee.